The American right hand rule of strike is measured so that the dip direction is to the right of the strike. And you can find that on a stereo net by spinning your tracing paper so that the bulge on the tracing paper is to the right side of the stereo net. Then the end of the great circle that's to the north will be your right hand rule of strike, regardless of the measurement that you actually made in the field. Then you can spin your tracing paper back so that north on your tracing paper lines up with north on your stereo net, and then count around the primitive until you get to your right hand rule of strike. So in this case, it's 270, 280, 290 degrees. So our right hand rule of strike is 290 degrees. And we could write the strike and dip as 290 degrees dipping 40 degrees to the northeast. That's the same plane that, that is also described by 110 degrees 40 to the northeast. The angle difference between your right hand rule strike and the other strike is always 180 degrees.